Mocktail bars are becoming more popular across the country. Bars with no alcohol. But here in New Mexico, our options are pretty dry. Gabe Salazar spoke with the new business in the sawmill area. The next bar you go to might be missing an essential ingredient. We're you know, one of the first to focus on having uh, a non-alcoholic bar that's catered to you know, some sort of a nighttime crowd and not just like a cafe or coffee shop. Ryan Brown, owner of Lost Cultures Tea Bar, which just opened up in the Sawmill District, claims his drinks will give you a buzz without the booze. Instead, they use tea and other ingredients that he says can make you feel euphoric. But we just wanted to try something different and incorporate and honor more of the, you know, the Asian traditions of tea houses and tea itself. According to the Food Institute, 51% of Americans wish they had a sober bar or mocktail bar in their neighborhood instead of the traditional watering hole. Brown is a one-man operation and is dipping into a growing mocktail market in New Mexico, a trend popular with millennials. There are so many sober people out there and not enough spaces for them. Brown has 15 years of bartending experience and since being sober, he hasn't let his skills run dry. This one here is our um, smoky rose, which is a really interesting one. It takes a smoked black tea uh, that gives it that smoky flavor almost of like a mezcal or a whiskey. Aside from the pretty drinks, Brown hopes to provide a space people can be social while staying sober. It makes me very, feel very passionate and grateful that I'm able to you know, offer this space for myself and for other people in the community. Gabe Salazar, KOB4.